Hi, I'm Gijsbert de Lange. Um, I'm 61. I've been flying 10 years. I came into flying from alpinism and I think the attitude from alpinism where you push yourself a lot and where you learn a lot by doing yourself, I took into flying um, and um, I didn't really think that instruction after the initial instruction was that important. I, I thought I could just learn it all myself, which for the last 10 years worked. Unfortunately, I had an accident um, in January in Colombia when I triggered a, a thermal over a small field and in the turbulence I got smacked down. So I arrived here on this uh, XC uh, progression course, um, a little bit nervous uh, about my flying, which I noticed uh, on takeoffs particularly. And um, yeah, it's been, I think this week has been uh, really amazing in the way that Carlos. Um, what he's taught me, his, his knowledge of uh, paragliding is incredibly deep. He sees all the details and he's able to immediately feed that back to you. And, and he does so in an extremely uh, pleasant and empathetic manner. And you know, I, if I felt nervous, I would mention it to him and we would talk about it. And then I would launch and leave to fly uh, a, lot, a lot happier. Um, so yeah, that's my introduction. Hi there, my name is Bart, Bart Verhagen from the Netherlands. I also also almost 61. We fly together since 2013, 10 years. And um, I also came from rock climbing and alpinism, did some initial courses. And after that, I own a house in France. So I did a lot, a lot of hours in the air, not only here in France, but also beach shoring. And after 10 years, I thought, okay, my starts and landings are okay. Thermaling is okay. It's just sometimes I bomb out after 60 or 70 k. Uh, route decision, route making. That's what I need to learn. So we um, uh, did. We uh, went to this course, the Grand Adventure, and our aim was to fly from Nice to Geneva. But weather forecasts were not so good. So the first day, we spent local flying in uh, Gourdon, in the south of France, and it was a very humbling experience because. Carlos took everything on video, our starts, our landings, our thermaling, and we reviewed that. He showed everything on his uh, computer. We also are on Sports Track Live, so we can see er like every movement in the air. He is able to analyze. And like I, I said, I thought I was pretty okay in the air and taking off, but uh, he gave us such precise and good feedback that after this week, my flying has is, is way 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 better than than a week ago mm. i mean it's amazing it's amazing isn't it yeah yeah and with a with much more understanding of what you're yeah. actually doing yeah exactly yeah and much more precise much more feeling much more exactly know what we're doing and things i mean i saw a shitload of videos and read all the books about flying but you only learn it by doing and, and get feedback, not only just by doing. Because if you, uh, yeah, if you train the wrong habit and you get the wrong habits in your system and nobody gives you feedback on that, then that's, yeah, that's what you do. Mm. And his feedback is very precise and, yeah. like you said, very empathetic. And he uses that uh, app, yeah, Sports Track Sports Life, which has been uh, absolutely amazing um, to see your own tracks back. In 3D. Um, for instance. You see the, your thermals, you understand where the wind comes from, and then suddenly you, you notice that you're, you may sometimes be dropping out of the back of the thermal downwind from it. And, and this is something that you consistently do. Or you learn that you're actually, I think old school, we used to fly with a bit more brake, maybe 10% brake. Now we've been explained that with the new wings that's no longer necessary. And the next day you try to you know, sort of unlearn that habit. And you're flying much smoother and you're making your upwind turns in the, into those thermals a bit longer than you normally would do. Instead of making, a, a, let's say, a perfect circle, you're making sort of ovals. And, and by that then suddenly you have less movement because you don't use the trailing uh, mm -hmm. edge as more, much. And you're staying much better in the thermal and it suddenly becomes a much quieter, more efficient way of tur turning. And then by yeah, seeing these, uh, these analyses on a daily basis, um, Step by step, day by day, it's been improving. So that was, I thought that was really good. Really good, really, yeah. It was, like I said, a humbling experience. And uh, I thought my learning curve was getting 
less steep, but this week it was a really steep learning curve. Yeah, absolutely. And the, and the thing is also that we, we signed up for this Grand Adventure in order to fly from Nice to Geneva, and the weather has been really crap. And we had, this is actually, you sit, see us sitting in the sun, this is the first sunny day in the week. And we had rain, we had cloud covered sky, we had strong winds, but his uh, ability to assess the weather and the local system and explaining that to us, even if we uh, didn't fly in that conditions, and, uh, like cross country, he really taught us uh, what to take notice of. What does the weather system do? How can you see that? What does these ridges do? And and anyway, we, we flew every every day. Yeah, yeah it's been uh, amazing. So yeah. Carl is, has uh, support from a meteorologist, who's actually the father of Cecile, his girlfriend. And yeah, the ability to every day find a spot somewhere in the uh, in the Alps between Nice and Geneva where you can actually that day fly, e even if only a top to bottom flight just before a rain shower comes in, has been has been phenomenal. And yeah, you know, I think by myself I would definitely not have flown that much. No, if at all this week. last week, no, we wouldn't no. have flown. No, definitely no. not. And and uh, but yeah, with with their ability to find the spots where that day it was at least a little bit possible. Sometimes we managed to fly yeah. a lot and yeah, uh, but, and still learn a lot. But also I said I did in. Um, Saint Hilaire, which was a overca big overcast day with rain showers in the in the vicinity, I did a one-hour flight and a two-hour flight mm. after lunch. And here in um, uh, Annecy, I managed on a cloud-covered day managed to fly a four-hour flight and a, a small tour around the lake. Yeah, and and that was not that, a, that an was ideal day at no, all. No, 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 was not an ideal. But so he says where to fly, what to mention. He, gives feedback during our flights, watch the wind from there. Yeah. If you can make it to there, there's a thermal. And then he explains why there's a thermal there. So we, I can assess the landscape uh, way better now. Yeah. And I think also, like I said in, in my intro, he's a very empathetic guy and he has a great sense of humor. So it's just also been absolutely yeah. a fun week. Fun, really we fun had, week. We had a really great time. Yeah, the only thing was he doesn't know a lot about material, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he knows. He knows. He knows an absolute, absolute huge amount. Because he worked for BGD for two years, that he knows everything about lines, harnesses, wings, uh, yeah. well, er everything. And, and I'm a gearhead, you're not so much of a gearhead, so nope. I really I suck it in every everything. Yeah, and remember uh, on the, the first day before we actually flew, he rechecked all the oh, yeah. reserves. Oh, that was also which I thought was absolutely very, very thorough. And yeah. uh, Repa yeah, repacked the, it, not not like a real repack, but he made sure that the the the, the reserves would open Im immediately yeah. instead of like what you see sometimes on videos, they won't open. No, no, and I think for all of us, he made some adjustments. Yeah, we cut out some things. We made the Velcro a bit looser, softer, looser, yeah. and uh, yeah, I think it <laughs> made all of us feel like. Wow, that's like something we, we never really thought about in that yeah. depth. Did, um, did a fly 10 years with this rescue, like attached to my harness in this way. Yep. Oh, luckily yep. I didn't have to pull it. So yeah, yeah. I think overall very positive. Yeah. And um, we did a SIF course like five years ago. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we're, you know, we Ludenis. decided to uh, sign up for um, a SIF course with um, Carl is next year. And I'm, yeah. I'm sure that's going to be in Italy. just as good because there's two guys on the course that have done SIF course with him and uh, yeah, it's, it's basically the same as we had this week. Just very, very good learning experience. Yeah, good feedback and a lot of fun. And a lot of fun, yep. Check. Ciao.